This photo assignment is impossible. Relax. You'll figure something out. These Talkies Intense Nacho Roll Chips are so intense, but they're not spicy at all. Try one. Oh my gosh, that's it. Okay, keep eating. You don't have to ask me twice. <gasps> you got supernatural So, what are you gonna call this series? Face the Intensity. Congratulations, Quinn. Even though I think you should take a year off. Birdie. What? I'm just saying. She can come work at P-Town Lounge with me, think about what she wants to do the next year. I'm excited for college. You're excited for parties. Okay, maybe, but I get to live in a dorm and make some new friends. Forrest's sister is back at it again, baby! Look, I know you have your orientation, but come to the P-Town Lounge after, so you can wait for Rooney over here. After she gets back from her hot day. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> Both of you, okay? I already feel bad for leaving you. Don't feel bad. I'm happy for you. I'm just high. It's like pretty sad. I have my own stuff going on. Okay, but we're going to the Alpha Zig party after, all right? That sounds like fun. Besides, it's been so boring at home. I just, I can't wait for a real fraternity party. Oh, you're not even a freshman yet? Yeah, but I'm basically the same age. You feeling okay, Quinn? Yeah, totally. I just, I've been studying a lot and midterms are coming up. It's just crazy. That's what I don't miss, standardized testing. I'll be right back. This pizza is so good. Dude, I'm really worried about Quinn. Something is off with her. What do you mean? I don't know, like she hardly touched her pizza. What if her eating disorder's back? No, I, I wouldn't jump to any conclusions. Just talk to her. Yeah, okay, you're right. I'll just talk to her. I mean, don't you think she would have told you? Honestly, I don't know. I mean, it's probably just nervous energy. Graduating Attaway, starting Provincetown. I mean, anybody would lose their appetite. Yeah, you're right, you're right. I usually am. Oh, come on. Don't you have a hot day to get ready for? I don't know, should I cancel? I feel really bad for leaving, Quinn. No, oh, she's gonna be at orientation for hours. And plus, I need all the hot juicy details <laughs> about, what are we calling him again? Hot art guy. Oh, okay, well, I haven't seen any pictures of hot art guys, so how do I know he's real? You know what, he has no social media. Okay, ew, uh, that means he's a serial killer. No, oh, it means he's cool and mysterious. No, it doesn't. <laughs> you sure I shouldn't cancel? Like, what if Quinn is really in trouble? She's not, okay? I'll hang out with her before she leaves orientation, and if there's anything wrong, I'll get to the bottom of it, okay? I'd love you forever. That's what best friends are for. Now go get ready. Go. Okay, okay, thank you. I'm gonna pick out an outfit. Thank you. Wait, no way you work there? I love the Provincetown Gallery. I mean, they have amazing artist residencies. I'm just an assistant, but it's a pretty incredible place to work. You should come visit me there sometime. I'd like that. Okay, so tell me what else you like to do in your free time. I don't know if I can tell you. What? Come on. I just told you that whole story about the winter break I spent dressed as an elf taking photos of kids on Santa's lap. <laughs> okay, you're right. You're okay, right. spill it, spill it. I love rock tumbling. Really? Yeah. I go hiking, I find an agate piece, like a rock with a crystal in it. Then I take it and I tumble it down so that all that's left is a smooth, colorful rock. I have a whole series of paintings on them. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. Kind of makes me sound like a nerd, huh? Oh, I think it kind of makes you sound charming. Oh, really? Sorry. Everything all right? Yeah, it's just my sister Quinn. She's in town visiting. 
Really, uh, we could find out another time. No, I was excited to see you and hang out with you. Actually, I think I have to go check on her. I'm sorry, I gotta go, but this was really fun. I'm sorry. Are you sure we're not just overreacting? No, I told you. She had an eating disorder in high school and Rooney thinks it's back. She's only been in the bathroom for like 10 minutes. What if she just ate something bad? Or it's something really wrong. God, Rooney is literally going to kill me. Well, you did kind of interrupt her date, so there's that. Okay, well, I don't think we should panic, but we should go in there. What, like break in the bathroom? No. We'll go over there, we'll knock, and I'll tell her I need to use the bathroom. Good idea. Okay, what do I do? Nothing, just come on. Hey. Hey, Quinn. Hey, Bertie. Are you binging and purging again? It's okay if you are. We're just here to support you. But who told you that? Um, I'm really worried about you, and so is Rudy. So you tell her my personal business? I don't need her knowing about my past. And if you must know, I have cramps. It's that time of month. What? I may have already texted Rooney, and she might be on her way. I can't believe this. I'm out of here. You think the party's gonna be a rager or what? You know it. Speaking of, who's gonna be the lucky lady tonight? I don't know, man. I got rejected pretty hard the other day. Who would reject you? Rooney Forrester. Oh, I know her. We played beer pong together. She's pretty hot. But wait, didn't you guys have a thing together last semester? Yeah, but I didn't put in any effort, and now she's totally over me, and sometimes I'm just such an idiot. Whatever, dude. Plenty of fish in the sea. Yeah, it's cool, but every time I see her, it's just a reminder of how I could have completely done things differently. Hi. I think I'm a little early for the party. So we're gonna break down the door. To the bathroom. And she beat us to it. But and she was here and she so came in and she was mad. Whoa, whoa. And it was... Slow down, you're talking too fast. <sighs> okay, so she kind of got upset at us for confronting her and she stormed out and then told us that she was just on her period. She said her cramps were really bad and that they were making her nauseous, so she wasn't eating much. Oh my God, she must be so embarrassed. She definitely wasn't happy. I mean, I should have just talked to her, asked her what was going on. It's okay, take a deep breath. She only left a few minutes ago, we'll find her. If we split up, we can cover more crown, okay? so soon? Your boyfriend already left. He's not my boyfriend. So you just kiss random guys? He's not random. Whatever you say, pledge? I'm not a pledge, and you're not a president anymore, so you can't talk to me like that. Jeez, you at least used to have a sense of humor. Look, I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm looking for my sister Quinn, okay? Have you seen her? Don't think so. You should apply to be a campus tour guide. You seem like a great host. Chelsea, I'm serious. She's gone totally MIA, and she left her phone in my dorm. Well, did you plan on meeting anywhere? I told her I might come to the lounge, hence why I'm here looking. Did you tell her to go anywhere else? Uh, I guess I mentioned that Alpha Sig was having a party, but... But what? She hates having fun? <laughs> Welcome. Alex, have you seen Quinn? I thought your friend's name was Kendall. No, not her, my sister, Quinn. Oh, the cute girl, yeah, sure did. Okay, so where is she? Um, think she went off with Chad. But don't be jealous though, you had your chance with her. Oh my God, you are such a jerk. You know she's 17 and I have no problem calling the cops. Whoa, let's, let's calm down. No, I'm not gonna calm down, Alex. Tell me where my sister is. Rooney, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? I've been looking for you. 
Chad was giving me a tour of Alpha Sig. It's so cool. Everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. I, I just thought... You thought what? Can we just talk about this somewhere private, please? Yeah, sure. Later, Chad. Y'all make sure to come back for the party now. What was that about? Girls. Yeah, maybe. Girls. It's girls. I'm sorry, Quinn. I didn't mean to jump to conclusions. You know you can talk to me. Yeah, I know. I just... I was worried that I was right. You've been going through a lot lately, and... I was afraid that you were hurting, and I didn't even realize it. I want to tell you about things going on in my life, Rooney. I do. But when you go behind my back like this, it makes it really hard. I know. If I go to Provincetown, I need you to promise me you're going to chill out. Me? I'm gonna be so chill. I'm serious, okay? Whatever I do, I can't have you hover over me. I'm going to make mistakes, and I need you to not freak out over every single one of them. I know, okay? I, I won't, I promise. Just know that you can always talk to me. I know. Okay. Can we go get ice cream? I need sugar. Yeah, of course. I love you. I love you too. Nice brushes. Thanks. Are you a painter? I mean, I paint my free time. Then you're a painter. I'm actually on my way right now to Provincetown Gallery for a painting class. If you want to join. Well, I'm not done for another 10 minutes, so. I'll wait. OK. Um, yeah, that sounds fun. Cool. We can walk there together. I'm Miles. What's your name? Birdie. Very nice to meet you, Birdie. Let me know when you're ready to leave. Next time on Chicken Girls College Years. I procrastinated. You need to get your paper done. I have a lot on my mind recently. Come in. Your place is really cute. You look good, Rooney. Whoa, Alex, what are you doing? I was drinking, so was he. That and doesn't give him an excuse to try to kiss you.